Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer, thank you so much for watching me. So today here I am again at the Baron Bar Lake and as I walk around for somewhere where we can go and see the water, there's all water all through here by the way. Um, so as I go around looking for somewhere to just sit and have a little talk, I've got an interesting question came to me yesterday. I was talking to this lovely couple in New York and the gentleman asked me, so thank you so much if you are watching by the way, but this gentleman asked me, why was it that I healed my brain tumour but I haven't healed my teeth? So today I want to talk about this. And I hope that you guys really comprehend the depth of what I'm going to go through here. Because when we get a really like life-threatening illness, like a brain tumour, the first thing that we have to realise is, was this part of my life contract? And if it was, is it something that I'm supposed to heal and to grow from? Or am I supposed to experience it? and to thereby utilize this condition so I can be of service or awareness to other people. You know, we hear stories all the time of people going through domestic violence and it's not until they go through it themselves that they then become like an advocate to where they then go and start talking to other people about places that they can go and services available to those who suffer from domestic violence, right? So when I had my brain tumour, did I become like an advocate for health or brain health or tumours? No, I didn't. It served me no purpose in what was called my life goal or purpose, which would be my life contract that I signed before my, my birth, correct? So when I healed my brain tumour, it wasn't out of just me being able to do it. It was due to the fact that I did not need that in the contract that I signed before my birth. So I always go back to how did I find out that I had a brain tumour. I found out that I had a brain tumour because I got hit in the head with a tree. Ironically that I'm here today surrounded by trees and I'm also just looking for a gap where I can get down into this lake. <clears throat> so, how did I get hit in the head with a tree that day? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I was standing about 30 feet away from the man who was cutting down the trees. And he was using ropes and pulleys. Just showing back to where I was. Look, we have seats here so you can sit down. And um, there was no way, really that I was supposed to get hit in the head with that tree. So the tree came straight at me. So it was almost like destiny, destiny, predestined fate that I was hit in the head with that tree. Wow, if I hadn't been hit in the head with that tree, I would never have gone and had an MRI to find out if I had a brain tumor. So that was the universe, in my own personal opinion, that was the universe telling me, Linda, go and get your brain sorted out and be aware of what I had to do to fix it. With regards to my teeth, on the other hand, I've had health issues with my teeth my whole life. And I hope that you like the um, lilies here on the view that you can see here on the lake. I've had a condition with my teeth all of my life and my teeth have always been a problem. Yes, I've been to the dentist, I can't remember how many times through my life because it's so many and I don't really want to tell you guys because hello, it's private, right? But why right now? Why right now? So hang on, I just want to show you one of our frogs that we have here. This is what the frog looks like. Okay, and they have a little bit of information about what the frog does. If you want to pause the screen, have a look. And there's another little thing here. So we have all these little native frogs. 
that live here okay so it is an educational park where i am so keep walking so why the heck my teeth right now of all the times in history that you know i've been here for 57 years why now and isn't it coincidental huh because there's no coincidences right everything happens for a reason synchronicities always come out to the fore when they're needed why did i just get the flu on top of having no teeth well let's go there because i'm honest and raw with this i'm transparent and i don't mind talking about my own health because hello i don't get issues and i'm not embarrassed by what we go through so what the heck has just happened whereby i'm now in this position where i've got to look after my teeth as well as my physical health now i've got to be careful walking down in here because we have eight of the top 10 most venomous snakes on the planet they live here and they love it here because of the lake and the water so i don't really want to go down into there just in case we do have snakes in there because i've seen snakes here previously um so i'm not going to walk down there but i just want you guys to see where i am today so i'm just going to start walking backwards now okay just so you can enjoy this beautiful morning it's winter morning here it's still a bit hot um it's still a bit cold by the way i've got my big coat on um, and i'm still getting over my flu so um my voice is coming back slowly and shortly thank you so much so let's get back on point um my teeth i had the flu as well so we have to look at those signs of the universe what does my angels and guides and anyone else, ascended masters, deities, Jesus even, what are they trying to tell me? Well, interesting thing, I've had to slow down. I've been extremely busy since January and my YouTube channel has quadrupled in size in the last few months, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for subscribing to me and being a part of the journey that I'm trying to create for all of us. But ultimately, the universe is trying to say, Linda, slow down. Slow down, Linda. And isn't it funny I'm saying slow down when I'm on this little bridge and I've got water to the right of me, which you can't see because of these beautiful little flowers over here. And as I pan around, we've got this beautiful lake here with what would have been the frogs if we'd seen some. So I'm just going to go down here and I'll do a little squat so we can see where I am. But ultimately, we've got to listen to what the universe is doing to us. Did I have to go and have an MRI when I got hit in the head with that tree? No, I didn't. So why did I? Because I just felt it was necessary. The doctor said, oh, we can do a CT scan if you want. And I went, oh, yes. So it was like the universe was pushing me towards that CT scan that led to me having two MRIs that found that I had a brain tumor. Yeah, well, the CT scan initially said I had a brain tumour. Then I had two more um, MRIs that's verified brain tumour. And then six months later, after I was doing my own healing work, then I um, had an MRI and it said no tumour detected. Wow. So we are very, very, very powerful beings. Yes? We are extremely powerful beings in what our mind can create. It's all a part of our conscious awareness. So what is my, now I've just got a couple of people coming through, so I'm just gonna pull out of their way. There they go, relax. It's a good little bike ride. This actually is a five kilometre walk. So that's why I didn't keep walking. I just turned around because I've found a little open bit where I can just talk here at the lake. So, um, yeah, it's a nice time to come here, obviously. You know, there's not too many people here yet. First thing in the morning, and we've got some birds flying over up there. Okay, if you can see the birds. Um, so, let me get back on track. Why did my teeth now? I've got to slow down. Big changes have just happened for me. One, I'm trying to write another book, which really is not coming at this point, because I'm trying to write four books at once. Um, don't ever try to do that by the way um, well for me it doesn't work it may work for you right it's all about who we are individually but um, I've had to slow down my books because I haven't been well my brain hasn't been thinking well and because I've had the flu and all this dental work which I'll never be a victim over because I've used this time productively 
But at the end of the day, I've had to slow down. And now the universe is saying, we have more work for you to do. So what is happening for me is I've just signed up at the Salisbury Centre, which is a spiritual church over Salisbury Way. And I've just signed up to become the booking coordinator, which is funny because now I am going to be the one in charge of who does what there. So if someone wants to do an event, they have to book their event through me. So if I want to do an event there, <laughs> I have to book the event through me, which is going to work in my favour because the universe obviously does want me to start doing more stuff at this centre. So part of what I'm going to be doing there, I'm going to start it as once a month, see how it goes. And if it grows, I'll make it two times a month and then I'll increase it. But I'm going to start going there once a month and I'm going to start doing like a spiritual service whereby I teach people how to raise their vibration and be better people. So the first one that I'm going to do is all about Roy Orbison. Um, Roy Orbison, you know his song, Anything You Want? <laughs> Oh, morning. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, and nice, I said good morning to those two ladies, and they don't even respond. Doesn't matter. Okay, at least I don't show people's faces, right? So I'm back now, going back towards the lake again. All right, so Roy Orbison, anything you want. Imagine the words, anything you want. You've got it. Anything you need, you've got it. But how about we change those words to anything you want you've already got it wow how powerful is that so that's what i want to start doing there showing a song listen to, let people sing the song so we all raise our vibration through music and then we cut down the words imagine marky mark bring on those good vibrations sorry for my singing right because i still haven't got my voice totally back yet but imagine the power of bring on those good vibrations. So that's what I want to start doing over at Salisbury. And the good thing for you guys is I'm going to start showing those videos straight to YouTube. Yay! So you guys can be a part of what I do over there as well. So getting back on point. So this guy that I was talking to yesterday he lives in New York. Thank you so much for being here, darling man. Him and his wife were so gorgeous. She was there as well. And um, they said, Linda, why haven't you, you know, if you, why, if you healed your brain tumour, why didn't you do your teeth? So we've got to take away the word why. Because why means ego. Ego. When we stop and pause and we stop asking ourselves why, because my next video is going to be about why as opposed to well. <laughs> right? Because I hope that you watch that one. Um... When we stop asking why and we just allow things to happen, we don't know that ripple effect of why something does occur. Am I having teeth issues now just for me? Could it be that my dentist, hello, who's going to the dentist these days with everyone being broken, no money? So imagine if my dentist said, thank God you're here, Linda, because if you weren't here, I could have just closed my shop and I'd be having to be kicked out of my house next month because I can't afford my rent. So my teeth has just generated, <laughs> it's more than a couple of thousand dollars, but I'm happy to pay it because it's gonna be my health ultimately. But imagine that repercussion or that ripple effect that that's generated onto the dentist. Ha ha ha, right? So sometimes things happen to us not to make us better or worse or to anything in our lives because that's just ego we also have to think about that ripple effect imagine the staff at that dentist surgery if that man had to close down his practice where would those receptionists go where would the other dentists go if they didn't have people going in there and saying oh my god my teeth need replacing so of course that we have to take away our ego and say to ourselves, maybe this isn't about me. Maybe there's a bigger picture that I am just that intricate, pivotal part to create that synchronicity of what's going on in someone else's world. Wow. 
so I've just come this 5k run so here's the park now there'll be a little thing here that says you are here I think um, I think I'm here so what I just did I just went down here and then I went up to here where well, that's the little bridge that I was standing on where the two lakes combine and then it goes all the way up through the rest of the park and it comes back down so you can actually walk around the lake and you can also walk around this other lake that i was just filming as well where the where the um frogs live okay so i was just on that little bridge there's heaps of little bridges there's beautiful bridge over here it's a sway bridge um it's a um support bridge there's no you know it's one of those bridges with no support really nice bridges so at one point i'll get around there you know and there's another really nice bridge up here um, way up into this other lake as well so there's all these little intricate lakes that come up here so here I am back to where I was the other day where I did my lake contemplation so I will go down here just to see if we've got any birds there was no birds here the other day so when we ask ourselves some things like why did you heal your brain tumor but you didn't heal your teeth we've got to take away our ego and we've got to say to ourselves Maybe this isn't about me. Maybe it is about me. I had to slow down. Yes, thank you so much, Universe, for allowing me the time to slow down and take some time off. But ultimately, what about the ripple effect of other people involved with what goes on with us? Now, I've got a couple of pelicans here today. They're on that rock just over here. There's some pelicans there. I don't know if you can see them. just so you can see okay oh, i've got crows gosh um the other day when i was here too we had this huge dragon um they're lizards here in australia and he came down here just down in there and he was about three foot long there was a huge lizard down in there so um yeah it's great that there's a lot of wildlife here okay so i'm just going to let you see here because you can see the pelicans here on this rock they're just here if you can zoom in okay but we've got a couple of pelicans here and um, some, I think that's like a cormorant type bird or something over there. Um, but guys, think about your own life and when things go wrong and just say to yourself, is this about me or somebody else? Because, you know, our ego, we really do put too much onus on what we expect out of our own lives and our life paths and our um what goes on let me just see if i can just oh look i just zoomed in there he is hello pelly there's two pelicans there so there's two, one pelican two pelican and then there's a bird on right on the end okay he's got his wings out because he's airing himself in the nice sun so when we have a look at life guys really put it into perspective and say what is the reason that this is happening to me is it about me or is there a reason for somebody else? Okay? Because most times when we answer that, when we question that, the answer is always yes. Because everything happens for a reason. There are no coincidences. Everything is a synchronicity in life. And most importantly, once we acknowledge that everything does happen for a reason, and we learn to just allow what happens, our life becomes so much easier in the long run. Our life becomes so much more plentiful, abundant and successful. And even though and I'm here today still getting over having a flu, my voice is not 100% back yet. And I've <laughs> had dental issues. I'm still here creating something positive and reaffirming in yourselves. So please know, guys, I love you all. From me at Berenbar with the pelican. Thank God I've got pelicans here today. Have a great day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you so much. Bye.